Hello and welcome to part 16 of Pattern Recognition for Algorithmic Trading. Where we left off, we were uh, drawing patterns, drawing, or, well, plotting the predicted outcomes and color coding them either green for up or red for down. And then we were also plotting um, the actual outcome. Oh, and I forgot to mention uh, in the, the last video, the uh, some of you might no notice that perfect zero, zero comes across here, yet we still have some green ones underneath zero, zero, and some red ones, um, you know, continuing already in the negatives. And um, you might notice that, well, actually what's happening is here is the blue dot, and the reds are below the blue dot, the greens are above the blue dot, um, or the cyan line, rather. And so that's really all that's happening there. Um, so, and it's not, it's not percent change, uh, you know, this here is percent change, but it's actually a pattern of percent changes. So it's not quite the same. Anyway, if that was confusing anybody, I just wanted to, to mention that. I had somebody ask me about that. So anyways, um, so that's that. And now what we want to do is let's go ahead and plot. So this is actual outcome, but let's plot the average, right? So what's the average of all of these, you know, quote unquote predictions? So close out of this. And the next thing that we want to do is uh, this shouldn't be too difficult. All we need to do is, let's see, print. So basically what we're going to do is do something similar to what we did with plotting the uh, true outcome array, but it'll be slightly different, I suppose. But anyways, what we want to do now is we're going to say, um, well, first we need a predicted outcomes array, which we don't have. So scroll all the way to the top to this bad boy, and we're going to add one more. And we're going to say predicted outcomes array. So this would be a ray, an array of outcomes that are predicted by this. Scroll back down all the way to here-ish. And, and really, I guess we'll just put it right here. So we'll say predicted outcomes array dot append. And what do we want to append? Well, we want to append performance array and future points. So we just want to append everything that's, you know, it's under this for loop, right? So that for loop for each pattern, and then we've already designed, uh, defined future points, and uh, so then that's, that's what we're doing. We're getting that, that value, right, of the index from performance array. So that value, we've got an array now of those. So then what we'll do is we'll come down here um, and we'll just put uh, predicted, and in fact, let's just highlight this entire real average outcome array, paste, and change this to predicted, predict, predicted average outcome equals reduce, and then we're just going to take this, you know, predicted outcomes array, and paste that here, and then come over and paste that here as well. So now that'll make an average of all of the predicted outcomes. Subsequently, allowing us to come down here and let's just plot a scatter plot very similar to the previous one. So we'll plot scatter and we'll also plot it 40. We'll plot predicted AVG outcome. We will make I don't know what the heck the color of this. Uh, color equals, let's we'll give it blue. And we'll also make the size 25. But it should be pretty, pretty easy to see the difference. So that should be it. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and close out the old interpreter and rerun this and see if we got any errors. Otherwise, we should get a sexy chart with patterns, matching patterns, predicted outcome, Average predicted outcome, actual outcome. So it'll be very exciting. So here we go. Please, no errors. Okay, the first one is a pretty boring one. So it makes total sense, right? Uh, predicted outcome. We only have one predicted outcome. Therefore, the average predicted outcome is the same. <laughs> and actual outcome is up. I would still call this a success. Predicted up. Uh, predicted up. Actual did up. 
Anyway, continuing on, I think the next chart will be a little bit more helpful to us uh, since it has way more plots on it. Yes, so this one has a lot more for us. And so here we go. We've got, you know, pattern recognition. Here's our patterns, all of the predictions. And sure enough, we did kind of guesstimate that there were way more greens than red. Sure enough, the average prediction is indeed an increase. Outcome was actually an increase. Um, so, so far two successes. Let's see if we can actually find an incorrect one. So I'll hit enter for it to continue. Um, and then, well, we'll get to the next part next after if we, I guess we can look at three and maybe one more chart after three. So I'll pause now. Okay, here's this chart. Very similar pattern, just cut off, you know, the last bit basically. And again, obviously, um, no surprise that this was accurate. It's very similar to the previous chart. Um, so yeah, I think I'll just cut it here. Uh, so now the next real question is, okay, you know, at this point, things are looking okay. Um, so probably a back test in our future. And, but anyway, this is, that's going to conclude this video. In the next video, I'll be talking a little bit more about back testing and then the implementation of that, uh, back testing. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for the support and the subscriptions, and until next time.